Hello again. Today I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to punch up the colors in your image. This picture was taken of me two years ago in Indonesia by my wonderful girlfriend Imelda and the pagoda just doesn't look as lifelike as I remember it. I remember the colors being a little, little brighter, a little more vivid. So let's go ahead and do that today. So the first thing we want to do is go to our background layer and make a copy of it. On the Mac, that's going to be Command J, and on the PC, it's going to be Control J. From here, let's go on up to our image menu, mode, and we're going to change our mode from RGB color, which is kind of the standard for most photographs, over to LAB color. Okay, and then what it's going to tell us is that changing modes can affect the appearance of layers. Uh, it, it wants to see if we want to flatten this layer. We don't want to flatten. So click on that. And now we go back to the curves adjustment layer, like in the past couple of videos. Click on curves, and you get the normal curves box. But as you see, it's a 10 by 10 grid right now. It, that's not normally how the curves box looks. So you need to hit command click on Mac or control click on PC. And this is the way it usually looks, is the 4x4 grid. You need to command click or control click to have the 10 by 10 grid. Alright, so very quickly here, what we need to do is go to our A channel and go over and move our endpoint over two grid squares just like that and down on the other end we're gonna grab our other point and move over two grid squares just like that you can see what this is starting to do to the image but we're not done yet so let's go ahead and go down to the B channel and we're gonna do the exact same thing again grab our endpoint, move over two grid squares and then down on the other end again grab our point and move over two grid squares and that's that's the basic technique but it's a little too vivid now so what we need to do is go here to our opacity setting from the opacity setting we go on down take it all the way down to zero as if there's no effect on the image and then just start bringing it up slowly until it kind of gives you a realistic vividness without going overboard so on this particular image I got up to 29 percent uh, from here what we want to do is merge this layer with the layer beneath it so you right click and go down to merge down and it will merge those two layers together from here go back up to the image menu mode and we're going to change back to RGB color just like that again it'll ask us if we want to flatten the image we do not so don't flatten and that's really the entire technique from here what we can do is go down to the image visibility right here and click on it for before and after here's before and here's after before and after and you notice it just brightened it up just enough to still look natural and even I wasn't really affected very much in this image although there is a way to reverse that if necessary so that's just a quick little tip and I uh, hope you enjoyed